Hey everybody, welcome back to the Sprinkler channel. Today we're going to be going over drip lines and drip line emitters. So that way you know the easiest way to install these drip line emitters into the drip line. And that way you're ready to go to get all your plants watered and your flower bits. So let's get started. All right, so here we have drip line, blank drip line specifically, that doesn't have any emitters pre-installed in it. And then here we have a two gallon per hour drip line emitter. As you can see here on the side, it will say 2.0. Then we have the tool to install the drip line emitter into the blank drip line. Then after that, then we have quarter inch tubing, drip line tubing that will connect onto that emitter and go out to the specific plant that we're trying to water. After that, we have a drip line stake, this specific style like this and that will keep the drip line anchored right where we want it around the roots of the plant so that way it doesn't move around and we don't have to worry about the water not getting where it needs to go. And then last of all, we have this uh, bug emitter insert um, and that will go on the very end and that will keep any bugs from crawling into this quarter inch tubing and clogging it and therefore not getting the water to the plant. So. Let's get into it, let's show you how it's done. What we wanna do first is make sure, before you install the emitter, is make sure you're actually working uh, with this blank line. You can, you can have uh, the pre-installed uh, drip line emitters like this one. You can see it has the holes already in it and you could still use this and install additional ones, but usually you'll be working with this blank drip line like this and it might come in uh, different colors like a black you might see it in black as well so just make sure you're working with drip line which will be the walls of the drip line will be a lot less thin than your say funny pipe that goes to your sprinkler heads so after that then the best thing best tool to have when doing this is this drip line tool made by rainbird um, it's called the zero zero men tool i believe and this will help you install these drip lines uh, emitters very easily. We'll take the drip line and we'll kind of squeeze it, on, even though it's kind of tough to squeeze, but we'll just try to have it bulge a little bit where we're gonna puncture it. And usually you're gonna wanna do it on the side going towards your plant or the closest point to your plant. And then with this black side, we wanna make sure we have the black side that has that pointy sharp edge to it and that's the part that's going to go into the drip line like that and then this part right here on the emitter the color side will stick that into the center port of this tool just like that so it'll be off centered a little bit that's fine okay so then we'll grab that squeeze the drip line a little bit to kind of help it bulge out get that center position and then we'll start pressing it in it'll take some effort and then once it punctures the wall, you can see it's starting to press into the wall and we'll just keep pushing on it until, there it goes, it pushed through the wall and then you'll hear it grab on to it from the, the lip that's on there. And you'll have to wiggle this tool to get it back off like that, but you just have to make sure that drip line emitter is not gonna come back out, that it's gone past the barbed area. For instance, you'll see on this one, you see that little ridge right there, you wanna make sure it's in there and it's not going to get pulled back out or pushed back out when the water turns on. So once you have that like that, then you're going to want to have this quarter inch tubing and that's going to fit just right over the end of this. Nice. And it's, you still have to push it on there and make sure that it's going over that other bar end of the drip line emitter like that. Then you're going to want to measure exactly how much of this quarter inch tubing you're going to want to go to the plant exactly where you want to water it. You might have multiple emitters going to the same plant depending on the size of the plant or what uh, flow rates you have going from your emitter. So after you've just de determined which, uh, how much of this drip line you need or how far you need to go, then we'll go ahead and cut it. So now that we've determined the, the length that we need for our drip line to go to our plant, then we'll just take some 
uh, clippers like this and we'll just cut it off like that and then what you want to do is install take your drip line stake and uh, push it through make sure you have the right arrow going through like this so you you want to make sure not to install the bug emitter before you do this so push that through the line like that and then after that's through of course this is just way way short and it's never going to be this short but just so it fits on the camera we're doing the uh, quarter inch tubing really short so then you'll have this staked into the soil right next to your plant like that so that way it doesn't move around and then after the last piece is to install this bug emitter right onto the end of this so then we'll once again push it over the barbed end of it until it gets all the way on to there and then we can slide that back like that and there you go you have your blank drip line tubing with this one's a two gallon rainbird emitter drip line emitter and then we have our quarter inch tubing going to our drip line stake and then to keep the bugs out from clogging the line we decided to put this little bug emitter on the end so that way it should be set to go for many years and then just stake that down around the roots uh, and base of your plants and you'll have to decide how many of these or what size of gallons and we can talk about that in a different video. Also one other thing to notice or to note about this uh, drip line tool is this little notch right here on the side. So if you ever needed to remove one of these emitters that's what this is used for. So you just align it up like that and then you slide it in between the drip line and the emitter and then once you have it on there like that then you can just pull on it like that and that will remove the emitter from the drip line like that. I hope that helps everybody. That is how you install a drip line emitter into the blank drip line along with the quarter inch tubing which of course will be longer than this usually to go to your plant and then uh, you'll have your drip line stake and then you'll have your bug emitter on the end just like that so this is kind of a condensed version of what that process looks like so hope that helps we'll catch you in the next one